my god, I wish I was there in person. I really, really wanted to. If any of you are quite aware, um, I live in Amsterdam and I, I, I was prepared to even travel this morning. Um, but we did everything we possibly could and uh, the UK Home Office didn't uh, uh, give me my visa in time. So here we are. I was absolutely crushed last night. I cried, but um, this morning I decided that um, I would send you guys a short video message. I will try to keep it to five minutes um, or less. Um, just to say that I'm there with you in spirit and I really very much wanted to be there. Um, I initially had prepared like I was going to talk about my own background and my, uh, you know, just my childhood, how I grew up and at what point did I leave Islam and that sort of thing. But there's not uh, much time that I can do that. I know that you guys need to get into a debate soon. Um, I just wanted to say that um, I do I do believe uh, uh, and I have a huge issue with the fact that Islam is against anything human rights and anything women's rights especially I mean I grew up uh, with a lot of oppression um, as a woman <clears throat> I mean just the that the differences between uh, the man and the woman in in an Islamic household is is, is very very clear, and so uh, so that you don't get confused. And but later on in life, when I uh, just uh, reached my own uh, personal awareness and, um, and and read a lot of things, uh, I realized that it's not something for me. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. And But according to Islam, just by the fact that I am able to say that or want to say that, um, I should be killed. And that in itself is something that we have to fight constantly. And we have to constantly bring it out to the fore. We have to talk about it. Um, and also, all the, you know... Uh, just all the human rights violations that are done in the name of uh, religion are are many. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we all like we can't go through the entire list now, can we? But my personal experience: um, when I was six years old, my genitals were mutilated uh, with the belief uh, that this will help me. Uh, continue living a pious and, and, and modest life and as much as there is a group of people who now think no but that's not religious it's cultural no religion and culture are so intertwined um, that I can't really tell the difference sometimes so um, in some of the things I wanted to share with you guys includes uh, some of the poetry that I write about my own personal experiences and the things that I am mad about <laughs> and I don't care who says that I'm mad it's just I mean these are things that we need to criticize and bring to the table that this happens in the name of religion so um, this piece is called The Vagina Pollen. It's about FGM. My vagina has a story to tell. A story of hell that befell all this my sacred well. This is a story we must dwell on. About my soul severed and my flesh butchered and my blood sputtered. I was six years old when I was told it was time. It's a story of traditions not worth a dime. At the time, only six years old, my crime was already decided that when I reached prime, I was at risk of freely distributing these, my very sacred dime. 
so my vagina needed to be sent a message. A message that when I come of age, it shall stay shut only to salvage an image for a culture so savage. And I'm here, feeling the rage of the blade as it hit my flesh, and the sound of the cut engraved in my brain, and my blood sputtered across my thighs as I let out a screeching scream. Piercing through lawns far away, down there lay a piece of my flesh to be thrown away. And today the bullshit they told me, a childhood is one that I need to trash down for good and is something that needs to be understood. Because when I understood, like really understood, I stood there with the rage. And I'm here feeling the rage of the blade as it hit my flesh and the sound of the cut engraved, engraved in my brain and my blood sputtered across my thighs as I let out a screeching scream, piercing through lawns far away. Down there lay a piece of my flesh to be thrown away. So to answer the vagina poem, I have another one called Dear Patriarchy. I like to complement these two together because I like to pretend that that's, that's the bad thing that happened and this is the, my, uh, me fighting for my rights and telling uh, the patriarchy that I, re I see you for what you are. It's called Dear Patriarchy. Dear Patriarchy, what's your deal really? Because when I woke, I wondered, hmm, why exert so much power over my body, my soul, and my vagina, and my feisty hot head of rebellion? Dear Patriarchy, is it possible that you're a tad bit fearful of me because I do see through you? So you feed me lies, but in my mind I always questioned, and you told me I was less. But in my gut, I always doubted. So you had me in chains, but my body constantly rejected. So you told me more lies and more narratives and more religion and more Islam. And your deception, I kind of accepted at least for some time while it lasted because my soul always searched. And finally I woke and I questioned all that you stand for and the many ways you use supposed to be as a means to keep me chained, not to wake. I looked at your narrative of religion and your masculine God. I questioned your consumerism and your corporate lot of bullshit. I questioned your inequality of emotion in a relation. Dear Patriarchy, newsflash, I am emotion. You can't shut me down. But I give you this much for a long time, I actually believed you. Dear Patriarchy, I am not yet done. In fact, I'm just getting started. Dear Patriarchy, if I, a female, makes you wonder if, I, if you should feed me more lies, if I, a woman, makes you shudder at the thought of my rise, if I, a lady, gives you tremor with fear of my power, then surely, patriarchy, you should not be surprised that I transcend beyond the limits of your deception. Dear patriarchy, this one is my fuck you to you because I am finally awake and I am not going back to sleep. Thank you everyone and I really wish you good discussions. I'm going to say bye bye now. I will follow the live stream and I will be watching you guys. Have a good one. Love you. Bye.